And we're back with more Mafia 3. Sorry, it kind of abruptly ended last time. I had some kind of diagnostic error at the end of the video. So, yeah, here we are. As we ended, I, I had untied this dude. And now we gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Lincoln left him with me, and I got him the hell out of there. And you still know DeGarmo's whereabouts? Like I tell any of you assholes. Good morning, Ms. Marcano. I'm here with your breakfast. Let's freshen this room up. Get some of that sunlight in here. That's better. Are you telling me Lincoln Clay did not murder Olivia Marcano? He didn't kill women unless he had no other choice. I find that very hard to believe. <laughs> Back in 67, we were in a bar in Saigon, and this gook bitch comes strolling in. Skirt barely covering her ass, and she starts offering everybody blowjobs. G.I. wants sucky fucky. Hmm? G.I. wants boom boom. Then she pulls out a grenade and she kills three guys. A couple Marines in the bar want to cut that bitch's head off, but Lincoln stops them. Keeps them off of her until the MPs show up. If he wasn't going to kill that slag, he sure as fuck wasn't going to kill Olivia Marcano. What'd you say? Oh, I did it myself. Yeah, to ear. Just like you wanted. Any sign of the gummo? He gone. I, mean, I look everywhere. It's like he never even fucking existed. Well, this is a goddamn mess if ever I saw one. Between Duval's will and his fucking Lincoln Clay, it seems this shit's never gonna end. At least we don't have to cut Duval in on the action anymore. <laughs> you trying to be funny? <clears throat> the gummo's lawyer is gonna keep this tied up in court for years. I ain't got that kind of time, you understand? Or money. There's got to be someone we can get to force them to make this right. It takes a lot of pull. Pull we ain't got. Could always call Leo Galante and ask him. Fuck him! The whole reason I'm building this goddamn casino is to get out from under them worthless fucks. Now bring in the commission. They're gonna wanna cut everything. God damn it. Go on, get the hell out of here. I gotta make this call. Yeah, Sal, how the fuck are you? Listen, I got something I need to discuss. I've tried to reconcile the part of me that helped Lincoln with the part of me that vowed to follow the teachings of Jesus Christ. But I can't. You know what I remember? I remember watching the news and learning they had gunned down Dr. King. I remember watching people lash out, riot, because that's all they had left. All the while, Lincoln's in the other room, barely clinging to life. Maybe that's why I did what I did. Let's find out how you're gonna screw me this time. I put Olivia Marcano in the hospital, but I'll be surprised if she makes it through the night. Sal's gonna know that he's lost Frisco Fields, that we've taken over his drug operations there and shut down his fucking greengrocer. He won't let that stand. We on the road to making a whole hell of a lot of money together, brother. We stick together in this, and we'll change the face of the holler for the better. You came and wound me up with your big tale about how we're gonna march through the city, murdering every Marcano bastard we cross. But look at me. I got nearly nothing here. 
Where's the tale you sold me, lad? Was it lies? It's time you fucking deliver. This is all news to me, but if you still want to send it my way, I'll take it. Can't go wrong here, brother. As long Make the take a stand. Figure I should probably give it to this guy to since he hasn't had shit yet. This turf's going to the Irish. Twice now you've ruined my pleasant disposition. You're better off not going for a third. This is just the way it goes, lass. We don't always get what we want. Yeah, I get it. I'm the Yankee motherfucker from Empire B. You know, this game, like, it's good, but if you've played the prior Mafia games, you kind of expect uh, more of the mob-related type of stuff, and this just doesn't have that mob feel to it. But, I mean, it looks great, Folks, decent storyline, but just needs a little more. Bets, hey, two dicks came by the gym. Between getting netty free and whatever else you've been doing, the man is pissed. What'd he say? Got him to one of the fighters. Pulled his gun, waved it around. Heard him tell one of his boys to be back at Wilcox Saloon. You go on and get back to training for that fight. I'll deal with that asshole. Alright, taking this guy out now. Tired of getting sand kicked in your face. <sighs> Gotta do calisthenics three times a week. Keep my heart rate up. You got blood on your shirt. Oh. Ah. Uh, cut myself shaving. There's something that you need to hear. Alvarez surfaced. Intercepted this call a little while ago. I don't understand a word of that. You mind translating? <laughs> Basically, you scared the shit out of Alvarez. He's ready to hightail it back to Cuba. Wants his dear uncle Zaraga to come rescue him. And what did Zaraga say? Well, he told him to meet him at the lighthouse on the southern edge of the bayou. He'd send a boat to pick him up. I'm guessing that was a lie. <laughs> Zaraga was a police officer back in Havana when Batista was still running the country. He also provided security for Sal's casinos. The two of them go way back. As soon as Zaraga hung up the phone, he called Sal and told him where he could find his nephew. Which means I need to get down there before Marcano's men. Sal's not gonna fuck around when it comes to Alvarez. So make sure your shit's squared away. Scare you more? Creeping and crawling all up on you? <laughs> Just keep your eyes peeled in case this Alvarez guy in his direction. Come on, Alvarez. Don't make this 
harder than it needs to be. We gonna hurt you. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I get my hands on that little. What? There he is. You understand English? <laughs> See? I killed the men outside. I only want to talk to you, so I'm gonna put my gun down, all right? If you try and fuck me, I kill you! Fair enough. You are the one who wants to kill me! I wasn't trying to kill you, I was trying to find you. Your uncle, he sold you out. He ain't coming to get you. You're lying. I just spoke to him. He said he was sending a boat. Wait, you think it's a coincidence that as soon as you got here, those grease balls showed up? Zaraga called Marcano, told him where to find you. I, I must find a phone. Jesus, man, there's no one for you to call. Marcano is never gonna let you out of this city. He's gonna use you, and when he gets what he wants, he's gonna kill you. The only shot of getting out of this alive is me. What do you want from me? Tell me where Marcano's counterfeit operation is set up and we're square. Everything is uh, in a boxing ring that Tony Marcano owns, but it's already up and running. That's all I need to know. Come on. It's time we got the hell out of here. Where are you taking me? I know someone who can get you out of the city. Make sure Marcano doesn't find you. Yeah. We take mine. If it'll get you out of here, sure. Just keep your head down. Megan, what's going on? I need your help getting this man out of the city. He's in a lot of trouble with Sal Marcano. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't. Hit the lepers. 
This who you told me about? Yeah, he's the one. Listen, father, I'm really counting on you here. I got nowhere else I can take him. Shit, I'm... All right. I know a Jesuit in New Mexico. He helps people in situations like this. What well, needs to happen right now? Marcano's gonna tear this city apart looking for him. All right, I'll make the call. Pasa, por favor. Aquí estás a salvo. Gracias. I appreciate this. <laughs>